So Gaffer, looking back on the last two home games, we've had two uh, draws uh, against Barnet uh, and then against Boreham Wood respectively, but two very different performances, Gaffer. How do you assess it? Um, two very different uh, same results, but uh, different emotions. After the Barnet game, we were very disappointed because we felt it was two points lost in the in the position we was in. And then against Boreham Wood, we knew it was going to be a tough game and a different type of game. And uh, the boys coped with that sort of uh, tough uh, side of it of that game. And and there was no shrinking violets, as I've said, no scaredy cats and. Um, and we came through that quite well, um, so that was a point gained. So we're still, I know I keep saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it because I want everybody to get behind it, and that is the two points on average per game, because we've done that now, not after one or two games, but after 12 games, we've got 24 points. And, um, and that sort of form should see us through. Now, it'd be great if we can get more points, but um, that just gave the lads a little bit of a... Uh, uh, something to sort of get their teeth into and, and understand and and know that you know we could play really well in one game, uh, be unlucky, lose one nil, um, but then we got to win our next two sort of thing. You know, so it gives them that 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 type of thinking. Now we know different to many other managers, probably all managers in this respect, and I'm sure that you were hoping to have six points on the table after those two games. But there was definitely points in, in both games that you that you would have been happy with. At beginning against Barnet, of course, um, Connor got two early goals, and yeah. your side looked at a real attacking threat. And then we saw against Bournemouth, your team being very resolute, very mm. committed to the cause, and looking very solid. So that Sean, in his hundredth appearance, didn't have a great deal to do. No, he didn't. Um... What he did, he did very well. There was a lot of uh, crosses and balls that came into the box and he took them really well. There was only one he played around with it a little bit <laughs> um, and it just fell behind him, but he was quick enough to, to get back onto it. Um, no, but he, he did very well and they, they were two different games that we had to deal with in a short space of time. But uh, as you say, there were some good things in that and I certainly, as the manager, and Downsy, um, you know, as assistant manager, we were, we we felt that the the, the boys are doing things now uh, better as a whole than we were earlier in the in the season. So uh, we just need to keep that going and and keep keep picking up the points where we can. It's been one of the uh, patterns of the season. That if you look back at the likes of Stockport coming here and and, and getting defeated at Playmore, uh, and then the same with Wrexham. Boreham had to settle for a point. You've certainly shown that you can compete with the best teams in this division. Haven't you? Yeah, I think every I think every team in the division has got a punch's chance. You know, like you, we went to Barnet when they were struggling, and they beat us there, and then Altrincham beat us here, and Woking beat us here. You know, so there's there's certain um, the, the whole league you can't predict really. I mean, at the moment, Stockport are the most uh, prolific as in the most consistent and they're going very well at the moment up there um, we've got to play them yet at Stockport we beat them here so you know they're they're going into the games thinking they can beat everyone but uh, and they are on a good run but most teams uh, can win or lose against any other team and and that is this league so you've got to be careful that we don't go to you know the teams that are in the lower half of the league or the bottom third of the league and think you're going to turn up and win the game. You, you've, got to, you've got to play well, you've got to do well, you've got to compete, you've got to work hard. You've got to do all those things that uh, win your football matches and sometimes make it look easy. You know, you, you mustn't make it look hard for yourselves. You've got to make it so, so that you're playing your game against their game and your game comes out. And that's a perfect example being wheeled stone away on Saturday, of course. Uh, um, everything did go nearly perfectly, actually, in the home game here, um, winning 5 0. But there's, you can't re predict that that sort of thing is going to happen again on Saturday, can you? No, you can't. And uh, you, you obviously hope it would. Um, but you're definitely not thinking about that. Every, again, every time you play a team, the two games are never, never the same. You know, we've we saw that against Yeovil last season. You know, where we absolutely slaughtered them here, and, and then they beat us there. So, 
<clears throat> we got to be careful with that. I know Stuart Maynard, the, the manager there, he was a young player um, when I was there as academy director. He's in, a, in our academy. He likes to play football. Um, he's, he's definitely gotten stronger than when they came here. You know, he's, he's changed the team around quite a lot. I think he's done a good job actually. And, re and um, at the moment, their uh, current form is not bad. You know, they're, they're okay. People are only beating them at the end of games. And I think they, they beat Yeovil. They, they've had some decent wins um, and, uh, and some decent draws and, and been unlucky. So we've got to be on, on form. And uh, you know, we'll see what the game turns up, turns up for us. Actually spot on about that gaff because it took a, a very late goal for Wrexham to beat yeah. Wilston last time out. Now obviously this Saturday is going to be a little bit different. It harks back to last season in many ways as with the game disappointingly being played behind closed doors which unfortunately means that the uh, Yellow Army are not going to be there in person but there has been some developments very recently Gaffer on that front hasn't there? Yeah there, there has. Um, we're, we're we are, the two clubs are streaming it. I think you have to go through Wildstone's website to, uh, to stream it, um, which is great for the fans. It's not great that they can't be at the game, but uh, we as a club understand why, the safety reasons at the uh, away end where, you know, I, I watched the Wrexham game uh, last week and, uh, and it was very dangerous. You know, the Wrexham fans came down and, um, the, f the fencing and, and the metal bars were broken and there was stewards on the floor with supporters accidentally on top of them. So obviously it's something that, you know, it's a safety issue. Um, but both clubs have, um, have agreed to stream in. Um, so that's at least something for the supporters to uh, look forward to on Saturday. And uh, we've had to uh, agree to uh, change the kickoff time to 5.15 because you can't stream a game at three o'clock. So, you know, we as a club have decided to make sure that our fans can see the game. We've agreed a 5.15 kickoff. Um, it's just a couple of hours later and you'll be home a couple of hours later. But, uh, you know, we're pleased that both clubs have made a big effort to um, show the fans the, the game. We'll give them a clap at the start of the game as usual. We'll, we'll, you know, hopefully I can do my little fist pump at the end of the game. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, certainly, as we said before, we'll, we'll know that they're there in spirit. That's the, that's the main thing. And, uh, and we'll always have their chants and their voices in our ears anyway when we play because it's a a natural sort of regular thing that they do so um, have a cup of tea sit down on your sofa get your talkie scarf on uh, and uh, and support the lads from your living rooms and uh, I'll try and get uh, the, the most I can out of my team uh, to appreciate uh, your watching from afar. That's a really positive move by Talk United as well as Wealdstone, but by the club that they've actually worked with Wealdstone to actually get the ball moving on this, agreeing to the change of kickoff, which isn't always the easiest thing to do, changing the preparations and all that, to ensure that the Yellow Army are going to be able to watch it, and of course the Wealdstone fans as well. But that's a, that's a real positive, isn't it? Gav? It is because it's nobody's nobody's fault. I think I think they had the, the problem a couple of games before that and thought they'd fixed the problem, but obviously it wasn't. So when it's happened twice then obviously it takes more time to put right whatever went wrong um, of course Wildstone are gutted because you know the yellow army go down go everywhere uh, in force and everyone uh, uh, you know exception with open arms because it's financially it's a good away support for their coffers as it were but um, you know obviously they'd be disappointed about that but yeah, both clubs have, you know, have made sure that the, the game can go ahead. And as I say, we had to agree the 5.15, which we did. So, again, so that our supporters can, can watch the game. It's never the same quite as being at the game, but uh, yeah, they can keep some petrol in their cars now. <laughs> uh, hopefully they can cancel their hotels and trains and all that sort of thing, get their money back. 
but um, both clubs have done it for the right reason. Perfect. Well, it's, uh, further details, of course, will be announced in due course, but we're looking forward to seeing your virtual fist punch, hopefully again at full time, yeah. Gaffer. Uh, and finally, Gaffer, um, how important is it that the team is focusing just on their own form? You've mentioned how you know this, this run's been going on for 12 games, so it's not two or three. Um, and now many people may be saying, oh, well, the, the gap to the playoffs only is nine points. But it's important at this stage of the season, still with, with uh, 15 games to go, to focus on our own form rather than worrying about what's going on else. Well, if you look at some of the teams that are in the league, we were 10 points, 12 points, uh, sometimes 14 points, you know, behind... Some of the teams that had started at the top, Grimsby's, Dagenham's, um, Yeovil were well, a, well ahead of us at one point. And, uh, you know, we didn't want to be a long way behind, behind them. But gradually after a group of games, if you can pick up the points over a group of games, suddenly with three points for a win, if you can get two or three wins on the trot, then that, that soon comes down because those teams that are nine po points ahead of you have still got to play the top teams that we're probably not going to catch, you know, like be lovely to, we'd have to win nearly every game. But our aim is, at the moment is getting them playoffs and see, see what happens from there. But there's still a lot of tough games for some of the boys that are above us. And we've got to keep chipping away at the ones that are just above us because they'll, they'll be thinking that they can sneak into the playoffs as well, the ones that have just sort of dropped out of uh, from 7th spot, 8th, 9th, 10th, we're 11th. And then you've got South End that are the form team at the moment and uh, they're, they're creeping up behind us as well and they'll they start feeling they've got a bit of a chance. So it's, um, but we've got to do our job, see what happens to the other teams and uh, not, not waste the opportunity if we get beat and another team wins, if you know what I mean, you know, and then you think if we'd have won that, you know, or another team loses and you lose, you're thinking, well, if we'd have picked up three points there, it would have been very nice, sort of thing, you know. So um, we've got to do our job, and we've just got to keep doing our job. And 15 games, what's that? A third, third left of the season. That's quite, quite a lot of games, quite a lot of points to to play for. Thank you for joining us this morning, Gaffer. No Stay problem. Tomorrow. Best of luck at Wilson. Thank you. Turn the heating on next time, will you?